This is an Icon Ministry production with the support of our ministry partners and donors. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Welcome you to this celebration of the Eucharist Today Icon Ministry welcomes you to this Palm Sunday celebration. A wonderful time always reminding us of our procession towards the Lord, the Lord who is the King of the universe, the King of our hearts, but also one who is going to the cross. So as we begin this time of celebration, if you have a palm, if you have something you would like blessed, let's bless these palms together. Let's ask the Lord for His Holy Spirit to bless us as we are in our homes. So Father God, we thank you for the gift of palms that remind us of laying down our palms, laying down our lives before you. Lord, we ask you to bless these palms that they may be a reminder of our call to surrender. And Lord, as we begin this Holy Eucharist, open our hearts, our minds to you, to your grace. And we ask this in Jesus' name, Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. A great crowd who had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming from Jerusalem to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and they went out to meet him, crying, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat upon it. As it is written, fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a, don on a donkey colt. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that he had what had been written to him and had been done to him. The Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who as an example of humility for the human race to follow, cause our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know how to reply to the wearied. He provides me with speech. Each morning he wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore at my beard. I did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insults. So too, I set my face like flint. I know I shall not be shamed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me deride me. They curl their lips. They toss their heads. He trusted in the Lord, let him save him. Let him release him if this is his friend. My, my God, God, my God, my God why, why have you abandoned me? Many dogs have surrounded me. A band of the wicked beset me. They tear holes in my hands and my feet. I can count every one of my bones. My, my God, God, my God, my God why, have you why have you abandoned me? They divide my clothing among them. They cast lots for my robe. O oh Lord, do not leave me alone. My strength makes make haste to help me. My God, my God, my God, my God why, have you, why have you abandoned me? I will tell of your name to my brethren and praise you where they are assembled. You who fear the Lord, give him praise. All sons of Jacob, give him glory. Revere him, Israel's sons. My, my God, God, my God, my God why, have, why you have you abandoned me? A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. His state was divine, yet Christ Jesus did not cling to his equality with God, but emptied himself, 
to assume the condition of a slave and became as men are. And as and being as all men are, he was humbler yet, even to accepting death, death on a cross. But God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names, so that all beings in the heavens, on earth, and in the underworld should bend the knee at the name of Jesus, and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Christ became obedient for us even to death, dying on the cross. Therefore, God raised him on high and gave him a name above all other names. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. First thing in the morning, the chief priests together with the elders and scribes, in short, the whole Sanhedrin, had their plan ready. They had Jesus bound and took him away and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, It is you who say it. And the chief priests brought many accusations against him. Pilate questioned him again. Have you no reply at all? See how many accusations they are bringing against you? But to Pilate's amazement, Jesus made no further reply. At festival time, Pilate used to release a prisoner for them, anyone they asked for. Now a man called Barabbas was then in prison with the rioters who had committed murder during the uprising. When the crowd went up and began to ask Pilate the customary favor, Pilate answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realized it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed Jesus over. The chief priests, however, had incited the crowd to demand that he should release Barabbas for them instead. Then Pilate spoke again. But in that case, what am I to do with the man you call king of the Jews? They shouted back. Crucify him. Pilate asked them. Why? What harm has he done? But they shouted all the louder. Crucify him. So Pilate, anxious to placate the crowd, released Barabbas for them and, having ordered Jesus to be scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away to the inner part of the palace, that is, the praetorium, and called the whole cohort together. They dressed him up in purple, twisted some thorns into a crown, and put it on him, and they began saluting him. Hail, King of the Jews! They struck his head with a reed and spat on him, and they went down on their knees to do him homage. And when they had finished making fun of him, they took off the purple and dressed him in his own clothes. They led him out to crucify him. They enlisted a passerby, Simon of Cyrene, father of Alexander and Rufus, who was coming in from the country, to carry his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. They offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he refused it. Then they crucified him and shared out his clothing, casting lots to decide what each should get. It was the third hour when they crucified him. The inscription giving the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And they crucified two robbers with him, one on his right and one on his left. The passers-by jeered at him. They shook their heads and said, Aha, so you would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Then save yourself. Come down from the cross. The chief priests and the scribes mocked him among themselves in the same way. They said, He saved others. He cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now for us to see it and believe. Even those who were crucified with him taunted him. When the sixth hour came, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you deserted me? When some of those who stood by heard this, they said, Listen, he is calling on Elijah. Someone ran and soaked a sponge in vinegar 
and putting it on a reed, gave it him, gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait and see if Elijah will come to take him down. But Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The centurion who was standing in front of him had seen how he had died and said, In truth, this man was a son of God. We posted a post on our social media just a few weeks ago, a couple of months ago, of myself holding up the Eucharist. And as I was holding up the Eucharist, all of a sudden, we transitioned to this movie, to this film-like image of Jesus on the cross and his blood dripping on the cross. Now, I had to delete, I would say, over 200 comments of people who were mean, who were cruel, who were angry and upset, but believe it or not, it wasn't people who don't believe in Jesus who were angry and upset. There were two types of people who were angry and upset. First of all, it was people who don't believe in the Eucharist, people particularly who are not Catholic, who are Christian, but not Catholic. They were so angry, furious, They're saying this is rubbish, this is, um, this, this is not scriptural. Well, mind you, this apart, of course it is scriptural. The Last Supper, it is all there in the scriptures. But apart from that, they were upset because Catholics focus too much on the cross. In fact, if you walk into any Catholic church, how do you identify a Catholic church? Because there's a crucifix as soon as you walk in. A crucifix is an identifier of what it means to be Catholic. Now, Protestants would say, why don't you focus on the resurrection? Because Jesus is no longer on the cross and you are absolutely right. Yes, we focus on the resurrection. But very often we need to understand that in this life, we are here to embrace the cross so that we can make it to the resurrection. Yes, we look at the resurrection. Yes, we look of what is to come, but we need to embrace the cross, not to put it aside because it is something that, that God has taken away. Yes, God has taken away our pain and suffering, but we need to recognize what Jesus has done for us. And in a, every sense, participate in that sacrifice, redemptive suffering, to offer our sufferings up to the cross, yes, but also our temptations, our anxieties, our desire to live for ourselves. Now we put it and place it on the cross. We have the power, the power source, the source and summit, everything, every, everything we have the power to do is because of the cross. The resurrection is because of the cross. Why do Catholics focus on the cross? Because we long for the resurrection. We desire the resurrection. And so we are ready to die to our own will to embrace that resurrection in Christ. Don't be afraid of suffering. Don't be afraid of death. Don't be afraid of the cross. Don't be afraid of over the next few days spending time in the, the tenebrae, in the tomb, in the darkness, in the suffering because it's not about the darkness and the suffering, it's about the excitement of the hope that is to come, but we need the cross. We cannot access the resurrection without the cross. Jesus, let me die to my own will. Let me understand what you did for me, what you won for me upon the cross, so that I may live in the resurrection. So let us proclaim our faith in a God who calls us to die so that we may live. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And so we bring our prayers this holy week, this time of, of, of suffering to the Lord. Lord, we thank you for life. We thank you for the resurrection, but also we thank you for the cross. And Lord, we ask you that we may participate in this death to self in our life, that we may choose you above all. Lord, hear us. In the silence of your own hearts, just bring your prayers to the Lord. So, Lord Jesus, we thank you for hearing our prayers as we bring all our intercessions to Mary, our mother, as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We have received the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and works of human hands, to become for us the bread of So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Though and your passion and the passion of our, your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that Though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for, for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. He, 
His death, he washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased for us justification. And so with the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Shane, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Take away our sin Have mercy on us, Lamb of God Have mercy on us Amen.
mercy on us, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Oh, Lamb of God, you take away our sin. Grant us peace, O oh Lord, Lamb of God. Grant us peace, O oh Lord. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For the blood of Christ. pray an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. On behalf of Icon Ministry, thank you for joining us for this Holy Week. This is a wonderful time for us to seek the Lord, to love the Lord. This week we have a whole lot of things happening for you. We have the Stations of the Cross, we have uh, the Triduum, the entire Triduum happening online. Also, um, there's the launch of our biggest project ever, ever, and that is the launch of MetaSaint. Now, this a lot of us won't know, but if you have children, grandchildren who are on a platform called Roblox, we are releasing MetaSaint on Roblox. Tell them during this Holy Week to look for MetaSaint, especially if they're not fasting from video games, at least they get the gospel message there. We are out there reaching to 70 million young people every single day through this platform. We're planting a church on a video game, the biggest video game platform in the world because we want our young people to hear about Jesus. They spend eight, hours a day, six hours a day on video games. What if we distracted them with the message of Jesus? So let's ask the Lord to bless this project so that more and more people will hear the gospel of the Lord. If you'd like to support this ministry, which is a very pioneering ministry, reaching to millions of people across the world, but yet such a small organization, we're dependent, so dependent on every dollar we're able to get. So if you're able to support, please go to iconministry.com forward slash support. And that way, also, if you'd like to become a ministry partner, 
that will help us even more. Just click on Ministry Partner and you can give on an ongoing basis. So let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection you may lead us to do to way you call through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Cause I'm no longer a slave to fear Cause I am a child of God You will unravel me with melody You surround me with the sun This production is only made possible because of the generous support of Icon Ministry partners and donors. Please go to iconministry.com forward slash support to make a donation.